Hey, Internet! It's Colorful Arnie. Welcome back to more Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Praise God on this amazing day. And before we start, I'm actually going to go to Stage Select, which we unlocked after we started Story Mode. Stage Select. So this lets us pick any stage we want to go back to, but mainly today I just want to go to the Chow World. Oh, and I guess right now all I can do is go there with Sonic. Okay. Now there's an advantage to going to the Chow World from Stage Select. Mainly, you can leave the Chow Garden, but go to like different parts of the Chow Gate. So that's our Chow Garden, and now, if we look behind us, whoa, what's that? Well, that is the Chow Kindergarten. So we're going to take our chow there, one at a time. And there's a lot we can do at the kindergarten. Also, chow kindergarten has easily some of the best music in the game. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is take our chow to the health center. This is the health center. The doctor will examine your chow. How are you feeling? This guy's really creepy. We're going to see the doctor. <laughs> this is not good. Your chow is very healthy. Please take good care of your chow. And we'll see its medical chart. Here's your chow's health results. Okay, so right now it's neutral and it's a child. Okay, that's not very good. So that's our the, uh, the chow's different ranks. So it can be anywhere from an E to an A when it's a newborn. And also there's a rank S, but you have to get it there. That's not a very good one because it's kind of meh or bad in every category. So, bother. Our pal boy, personality's crybaby. Your chow likes round fruit. Okay, chow's very healthy. Take care of your chow. And that's its results for the different chow games it can play. Okay, that's not ideal, but that's fine. I'm going to love him anyways. Welcome to the fortune-telling house. You won't get your fortune told here, but it's fun to get a nice name for your chow. I will give your chow a lucky name. Oh, your chow is a newborn. I will give your chow a good name. The chow's lucky name is... Summoning the powers to be... Presto! How about the name Adam? Yeah, why not? Perfect, your chow's name is now Adam. This is a very good name. I wish Adam a happy life. See you again. Other thing here, there's the principal's office. The principal doesn't get your chow in trouble, but rather he just gives you tips on how to raise your chow. But I know what all there is to know about raising chow. And this is the classroom. Today's lesson is drawing. We can leave our chow here and they will learn that lesson. I'm going to do exactly that. <laughs> There's also the black market being run out of chow kindergarten. That's disturbing on many levels. Welcome to the black market. You can buy various items with your reins. What can I do for you? So shopping, we can buy... A lot of different stuff. So first up, there's a white egg, which you know we had chow eggs in the chow garden. Well, the white egg is a special kind of egg, and that chow will always be pure white. So that's kind of alright. Hero fruit, where if you give it to your chow, it'll raise its hero affinity. Dark fruit, which raises that chow's dark affinity. Heart fruit, where if you have two adult chow and you give them both a heart fruit, uh, they tend to mate together and create a new chow egg. It's kind of cool. Chow fruit, which when they eat it, it'll increase all of their skills, not just their stamina. Round fruit, which, as you saw, Adam's favorite fruit was round fruit, so he'll really like to eat that. Triangle fruit is another potential favorite fruit. Strong seed, which, there are a bunch of different seeds that your chow can plant in the garden after they win certain games and get certain items. Strong seed basically just makes regular fruit and lasts for a while. Hero seed gives hero fruits. Round seed gives round fruits. Square seed gives square fruits. And then an apple. An apple is not something your chow eat, but rather something they put on their head, like a hat. And it's also very expensive. And yes, if you collect rarer, if you collect more emblems, they get rarer items there. Very nice. Just one of the many incentives to get a lot of emblems in this game. And of course, we're not leaving our other chow out of this. Oh, it's happy chow. All right, health center. Health center, doctor's examining your chow. <laughs> this is not good, your chow's very healthy. Here's your chow's health results. Okay, that's much better. 
So you can see, instead of being a C or a D and everything, we've got two Bs. Bs are much better. So I should also explain what the ranks mean for different categories. So each, like, depending on what letter grade they are, that depends on how much they will level up each trait. So for example, if they, if a Chow is like a C at swimming, then they'll probably, this is just a guesstimate, but they might level up like swimming by 10 points when they level up. Whereas if they're a B, they might level it up by 13 points per level up. So if your Chow is a high letter rank in each of the categories, then they will level up, get way more points in those categories, and thus, as a result, be much better in those categories than other ones. So, that's cool. Oh, hang on. I, I need to see that medical chart again. I, I only saw the ranks. Chow's health results. Personality curious. Your Chow likes square fruit. Cool. Oh, I love how happy your Chow is. He's adorable. Fortune-telling house. Presto. How about the name Loose? Um, no. Really? You don't like this name? Do you want a different name? So here's something not a whole lot of people know. If we say no again, how about naming your Chow yourself? Boom! We can choose our Chow's name. Alright, so our Chow is very, very happy. Uh... Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, still beats Harvest Moon 64 for a letter character space. Sweet! Alright, um... The name Gabriel? Yes. I apologize if I spelled that wrong. That would be very embarrassing if I did. Well, Gabriel, you're gonna learn drawing with Adam. You can leave four Chow in your kindergarten at a time, and you can't take them out until they finish learning the lesson. They'll learn the lesson just by you playing the game outside the Chow Garden for a bit. Alright. So that'll save the Chow data. The thing is, if we visit the Chow world... From the story mode, we can't go to Chow Kindergarten after entering the garden, it just automatically saves and quits. But anyways, time to continue story mode. Today, we're on Hidden Base! Find the entrance to, into Hidden Base. So I actually am going to try to get the Chow Boxes with each of the different characters so they can all go to the Chow Garden. Oh, I have to avoid falling into quicksand. Yeah, touching quicksand is instant death. Thankfully, we've got the booster. So this is just a lot of blowing stuff up, making platforms. Woohoo! So yeah, it's basically just a matter of mashing the shoot button for these different walls. Your cannon will shoot out a bunch of stuff. Ooh, tiger! Skunks. Ugh, skunks. There we go. Chow key. And again, I can't remember if you lose the chow key if you just take damage at all, or if you have to actually die in order to do that. Oh no! And that's why you don't want to fall. And now I'm going to get an E rank, but that's fine. Actually, maybe a D rank. No! I swear I'm not this bad normally. Normally. There we go. No! It dropped my jump! Oh, hey, I still have the Chow Key, even though I died. Oh, okay, I guess you can't lose the Chow Key. Okay. 
Alright, let's just take the safe way, shall we? <laughs> This probably means we'll only go for two levels today because I showed off more of the Chow Garden. Okay. We are jamming! Whoa, Green Kitty. I forgot about those guys. These are monkeys. They are nasty and throw bombs at you. But they also drop other animals when you kill them. So, I guess there's a <laughs> bright side for everything. That could be a risky jump to make if you don't, because it's hard to tell where the platform actually is. That's right, those are metal crates. We can't destroy those. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that yet. But we're going to come back and uh, destroy them once we get something that allows us to kill them. There's a special item hidden behind there, but it's can't get it for a while. I forgot about the- yeah, sometimes if you go for the checkpoint, you get a little bonus item. Woo! That was too close. Take that, monkeys. Oh no! Stupid monkeys blew me up. Also, I think we can only carry one more animal. Yeah, if we pick up another animal, it'll it'll get rid of our the first animal we got. You can only carry a certain amount of items. All right, whoosh! The weird Eggman snake blocks can be destroyed as well. Okay, thank you, camera, for changing. Well, that was weird. Nothing. Alright. Five rings is kind of the worst prize you can get from the checkpoints. Except for, you know, nothing. These black Eggman crates cannot be destroyed under any circumstances. But you can use them as platforms. Boop, boop. Yeah, even though I just shot like a bunch of stuff, it only gave me a uh, combo of two because there were only two enemies that I actually destroyed. Or things like sticks of dynamite over there. Radical! Man, this stage is a lot longer than I remember. Alright, can't go up there this playthrough. Okay, this room's a bit nasty. A lot of hovering. Woo! That's a big combo. I forgot how many animals are on this level. It's really quite astounding. There we go. But as always, be on your guard at the end, because the, uh, the game loves throwing enemies at you at the I very end. It. Woo! We did not get an A, but we might have gotten a C or a B. Very good. Darn it, if I didn't die in the quicksand a bunch of times, I would have gotten an A on that one. But that's okay. No use crying over spilled milk. And now Tails gets to go to the Chow World, and he doesn't take his walker with him, so we see what Tails would have controlled like outside of the walker. You can hold A when in the air, and he can hover. He controls much more nicely than he did inside the walker. I'm just going to throw all these animals here, and our Chow can get taken out of the Kindergarten. Then that'll be good. That, for the waterfall, leads to the Chow, like, arena, where you can do Chow races or Chow Karate.
And yeah, as you can see, we can't actually leave the garden and go to the kindergarten. It just automatically makes us leave. Now we're on Pyramid Cave, Sonic level. Infiltrate Eggman's hidden base. So this is a fun level, also pretty tricky Sonic level. So jumping through these rings gives you points. And there are rings on the ceiling. Some of them are very difficult to reach. <laughs> this is the main gimmick, these hourglasses. You hit them, doors open or stuff happens, and then it only lasts for a couple seconds before you have to hit the hourglass again. We remember these from City Escape. They, I must say, they did a pretty darn good job with the Sonic levels in this. These are what Sonic levels should be like. Watch out for the E versions. And we get the item for this level, Bounce Bracelet. Press the B button while in mid-jump to use Bounce Attack. Press B again to jump higher. So once we destroy these E-102 Gamma... Oh no! Nice homing attack, Sonic. A+. Plus. Yeah, I know this Omo Chow. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's try this again. So those E-102 Gamma, like, knockoff, they're some of the most annoying enemies in the game. They can hit you pretty easily. So that's the bounce attack. So we can do bounce, bounce, and we can get up here. Bounce, bounce. Very useful ability. Uh, d yep, so the hourglass closed before we could reach it. That's fine. So now we have to pick up these fans and put them on the pedestals here to open the doors. Oh, hang on. Here, rail grinding. That did not make sense. Rail grinding in this can be a bit annoying. It's one of the glitchier parts of the game. We'll see much more of it later on. Get, let go of me, stupid ghost. You gotta know when to hold A and when to release A on grinding rails. So I'm just gonna destroy the Gamma models now before they become problematic. The ghosts are also very annoying. Because you can't actually kill them. Alright, we gotta take this all the way back. This is the part of the level that's kind of annoying. Alright, yep, there we go. Thank goodness we got those conveyor belts to boost us! This is fun. So that's... No! Let go of me. So the hourglass does not last very long. Or it does last a long time, but if we miss it, then we have to do this whole corridor again. We don't want to miss it. Which is why we do spin attacks! Woohoo! So this is the part of the level that I think is really cool. All the high-speed action sequences. That's what it was, makes Sonic cool. And they kind of removed that from future Sonic games. I'm looking at you, uh, Secret Reigns. Sweet model. Yeah, this, that's what I mean when I say they are really annoying. Also, that Sonic 1-Up is really bad graphics compared to the rest of the game. Great! Here's the part where you actually have to use the spin attack if you want to get through. Woo! 
big loop. Yeah. And I think that's the end. Sure enough. Yeah. Yes. That is a rank C, I bet. Just made it. Yeah, it's hard to A rank that one. You have to jump from pretty much all the rings through all those annoying corridors. All right. Looks like we're heading toward the center of the base. That egghead sure loves mechanical things, doesn't he? I'll bet he has one or two spaceships lying around here somewhere. The door's locked. We need a key to get in there. No problem. We can find it. Right, Knuckles? What? Why do I have to find the key? We're counting on you, buddy. The world's greatest treasure hunter. And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in next time, we'll be playing more Knuckles. That... That didn't make sense. We'll be doing another Knuckles level, and probably another Tails level, and hey, if we're lucky, we might even do two Knuckles levels. Have a great day, and God bless.